What's up guys welcome back to yet another interesting video so oneplus is expediting on software updates just few days back oneplus rolled out first open beta of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 10 pro and now today they have started rolling out second oxygen os 13 open beta 2 so in this video let's quickly take a look at all the changes what oneplus have done with this newer update of oxygen os 13 so without wasting any more time let's get started so here i have my oneplus 10 pro let me show you this software information first by going to about section here you can see it says oxygen os 13 which is beta version android version is android 13 which comes with 5th august 2022 security patch and if you talk about the version version is now c.17 i received this update via ot update because i was already running oxygen os open beta 1 but for those if you want to install oxygen os 13 open beta 2 you can just download the file from the description below and perform a local upgrade i'll tell you how to do that because by default if you guys try to update a device manually you won't get the local install option when you tap these three dots in the about section for that what you have to do is you need to enable developer option and that can be done by going to version tapping on build number seven times once you see you are a developer now and if you go to update section and tap on these three dots you'll see an option called local install this way you can install oxygen os 13 open beta 2 on your oneplus 10 pro and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video okay first now let's take a look at the benchmark results so here are the benchmark results using geekbench application wherein single core have scored 1237 and multi-core have scored 3312 and guys with android 13 it's not only with oxygen os 13 with android 13 google have blocked the access of installing third-party applications so we cannot use applications like antutu benchmark application or even you can't install any other application which is not present on play store so here you can see i tried testing out these two applications one is battlegrounds mobile india and the second one is tap tap if you try to install this application i tried with sci app also and the package installer which is present on our android smartphones so soon you tap on install it will automatically crash there you can see so with android 13 now at present we won't be able to install any third party application which is not present on play store so before updating keep this thing in mind that's the reason we cannot test the Antutu 2 benchmark results but we did test out cpu throttling and here we did not find any kind of issues max cpu throttled up to 83 percent and these benchmark testing and cpu throttling test was done without using high performance mode and now let's take a look at the change logs so it was a quite big update wherein i think update size was around 500 or 600 mb not exactly sure i don't remember that and i forgot to take a screenshot also and these are the change logs wherein oneplus have fixed most of the issues which were present on initial build of oxygen os 13 there are two new features added which i'll tell you in the later part of the video so with the first change log oneplus says they have improved the stability of device in some scenarios yes guys compared to oxygen os 13 open beta 1 the stability and the touch experience have been improved a lot but still there are some jitters which i have noticed while using the device but that's not a major thing yes it's in beta phase so still optimizations are required after that they have also fixed an issue wherein icons used to overlap in the quick setting so for me personally i did not face any kind of overlapping issues in the quick setting tiles towards the right hand side that image was taken before updating the device and there also you can see i had no issues with the overlapping of quick setting tiles after that they have also fixed the automatic pull down of notification panel or you can say status bar personally for me never happened but if that thing used to happen with your device now it has been fixed by oneplus and after that they have fixed this slow response of auto brightness so towards the right hand side there's a video screen recording in which you can see the response of auto brightness and you can compare it with the newer build of oxygen os and yes it was a bit slow on the previous build but now it seems to be fine with oxygen os 13 open beta 2 then they have also fixed an issue wherein quick setting tiles background used to be transparent and here you can take a look towards the right hand side that image was taken on the previous build i don't see any kind of major difference in quick setting tile background before and after the update and guys on the previous build there was an issue which i have noticed and that also have been taken care by oneplus so if you are using guest mode on your oneplus 10 pro on open beta 1 double tap to wake wasn't working so i tested out on this build after installing oxygen os 13 open beta 2 
and now i don't have any kind of issues with double tap two way so here right now you can see we are into guest mode and if i lock the screen and double tap you can see this screen do wakes up after updating to beta 2 which wasn't happening on beta 1 and the last system fix which oneplus have done that's layer to storage so on previous build other section was taking bit extra space or device internal storage let me show you that screenshot so here's that screenshot which i took before updating the device wherein other section have been taking around 7.34 gb but now if you take a look at this storage section here it only takes 6.88 gb not a major difference but yes little bit of storage have been reduced in others category after that they have fixed some issues related to the laggy camera and yes guys on previous build also there were bit of issues the opening of the camera is also a bit slow which haven't been fixed on this latest build also but overall they have improved the performance of camera application not in terms of picture quality picture quality will be comparing it in a review video so stay tuned for that i was about to shoot a review today of oneplus 10 pro running oxygen os 13 but then we got this new ota update so within two three days i'll be testing out this build thoroughly and we'll come up with the in-depth review now talking about some of the new features which i have noticed after installing this update and one of them is related to the sidebar so here we have the sidebar you can see this is how it looks when you're using it without running any application in the background but if you are running any media player or ott platform and in this case let's take an example of youtube application so let me show you once again so this is how sidebar looks or behave without running youtube in the background once we open the youtube application and now if i slide the sidebar here we have a new option which is background stream so here if you are playing any song and if you don't even have the premium membership of youtube you can still run that video in the background not in pip mode but you will obviously hear the sound of that video though i have a premium membership but let me show you an example how does it work so here we have a song being played in the background i'll increase a little bit of volume and tap on background stream and there you can see now the sound will be played in the background but you'll have a notification called youtube is streaming in the background and i think it should work with people who are not even having the premium membership of youtube i'm not exactly sure whether it will work or not because in my family everyone has the youtube premium membership but if you guys don't have the youtube membership then do let me know in the comment section below whether this feature works or not and the last new feature which i noticed is layer to live wallpaper so here now we have a new live wallpaper called bluesome wallpaper and this is a pretty great feature what you guys gonna notice on your oneplus 10 pro with oxygen os 13 so this wallpaper blends digital well-being data and wallpaper for ingenuously visible way to help keep your screen time in check the seeding in the wallpaper grows as your device usage increases and starts to become a lifeless object when you go over the screen time goal. The color of the seeding is sampled for icon of the app you use the most in past hours. So this wallpaper will also change the color, I mean to say the seeding part will also change the color depending on the app usage. And there are few changes what you can do. For example, let's go to live wallpaper, tapping on live wallpaper. Here you can set the screen time goals. For me, I had just set 22 hours to test out this wallpaper and it works fine. So just let me show you how does it work. If you lock the screen, now you can see the seeding size on this wallpaper on the lock screen and it keeps growing depending on your usage. And this seeding will also adapt to the color depending on the most used application quite a great add-on done here so guys these were the changes which i have noticed on oxygen os 13 open beta 2 if i find out more features i'll do update a video and i'll also be coming up with a review video very soon so stay tuned for that and you guys also let me know if any specific thing you want me to check out on this build as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day